let me show you some tips and tricks for Redmi 15. We're gonna start with the home screen. Over here, we can press and hold our finger on an empty area. Let's actually go to the next page. So press and hold your finger on an empty area in order to find this editing mode. And in this editing mode, we can go to settings in the bottom right corner where we can find transition effects. Over here, we can apply a different effect, which uh, is of course the animation that we have when we change pages. So definitely worth checking out in order to personalize the home screen. Besides that, of course, we also have effects uh, where you can, for example, blur the wallpaper and we also have widgets. But um, I mainly wanted to show you these, these effects over here. Another thing that is also quite uh, useful in the home screen are, of course, folders. But uh, we can also change the size of folders. So if you press and hold your finger on the folder, you should have edit folder option. And over here we have three sizes. We have regular, which is one by one, enlarged and XXL, which both of them are two by two. In the case of enlarged, three first apps that are in the folder can be opened directly without having to open the folder. In the case of XXL, we can open eight apps like this. And the rest of them, in order to open them, you will have to actually open the folder. So this can be quite useful in order to organize uh, the home screen and also quite handy because uh, folders are not really requiring you, at least if you choose the XXL size, and then most of the time they are not requiring you to go through that folder, so it's still as fast as before to open apps. There is also, of course, the app drawer, and we can customize it as well. So you can tap on the setting icon in the top right corner in order to, for example, disable app suggestions, get rid of app categories, or customize the background so you can make it transparent so that you can see the uh, the wallpaper or you can set it to semi-transparent or something like that and yeah let's apply these changes now besides that of course uh, we can also find many different stuff in settings so let's go to settings and the first thing that i want to show you is in home screen more precisely over here arrange items in recents so uh, this is also known as background apps or the list of background apps by default we use this vertical style where we need to swipe to the left or to the right in order to close an app but you can switch to horizontal which is um, more uh, recognizable on uh, other smartphones on other android devices or even iphones actually or this is generally the main uh, way to actually display uh, recent apps or background apps and you can also swipe up in order to close an app like this so if you prefer this style then of course you can switch it over here now besides that uh, another thing that we can do is go to sound and vibration and by default over here, of course, we can adjust the loudness of our smartphone and different stuff, um, including the media ringtone and alarm. However, you may notice that we do, not, we do not have a slider for notification volume. And that is because, by default, notification volume is synchronized with ringtone. So if you want to change the loudness of notifications, you want to adjust the loudness of ringtones. However, you can actually um, change that. You can separate ringtones and notifications. Uh, by going to additional settings and over here we have control notification sound we want to turn it on and now if you go back as you can see we have notifications separated uh, if you go to apps in settings you should be able to find the app lock and app lock allows you to create a password for apps so if you press turn on then you can choose the password that you wish to have for the app lock you can also tap on the change password over here in order to choose a different password type so enter your password twice in order to confirm you can also use your xiaomi account in order to be able to recover a password in case you forget it and then you have suggestions of apps that you can immediately lock but we can also uncheck them if you want to start without anything locked so let's go ahead and choose use app lock uh, you can also use fingerprint sensor in order to unlock the access to the app lock you can also find settings over here in case you want to change something but now over here we can enable the password for selected apps by tapping on these switchers. So let's say I'm going to choose these two apps and if I try to open them now, then as you can see, I have to enter the password. Definitely worth checking out for uh, protection if you want to protect uh, some uh, data that you have in these apps. 
and we're going to go back to settings actually over here we can scroll all the way down and go to additional settings and then open a gesture shortcut in order to find this option over here turn on the flashlight so we can enable double press the power button uh, which allows you to toggle the flashlight so let's see i'm gonna double press the power button and as you can see the flashlight has been enabled and of course we can disable it like this as well uh, i actually enjoy this feature quite a lot i uh, like when i have quick access to flashlight and besides that you can also use the same thing for camera instead so if you prefer to have quick access to camera then of course we can do this we can set it up like this Another thing that is also worth checking out is this double tap fingerprint sensor. So unfortunately, we do not have backed up gestures, but we do have um, the double tap fingerprint sensor. And the sensor is located on the power button, so you actually have to double tap the power button. You don't have to press the button, you just have to touch it. And over here we can choose one of many things. So, uh, for example, you can also use it for the flashlight, or you can use it to, for example, to show uh, notifications, you can take a screenshot, you can launch camera. Um, you can toggle the silent mode and so on and so forth. So let's say I'm going to actually choose the silent mode. And over here, if we tap the power button, let's see if it's going to work actually. Yeah, there we go. So we can quickly turn on or off the feature that we set up over here. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.